On this Mother's Day, it is estimated that Americans spent $1.9 billion on flowers. In one state, only florists who have passed an exam can legally reap the benefits. Elaine Quijano has more. For 10 years, Monique Chauvin has owned Mitch's Flowers, her own little Garden of Eden on a quiet corner in New Orleans. She and co-worker Leslie Missoni worry about bouquets and boutonnieres, but the state is concerned with something else. They can issue a cease and desist order for me to stop selling arrangements. Louisiana is the only state in the nation that requires at least one florist in every shop pass a licensing exam which neither woman has done. It's art. Why do I have to take a test to do it? Pretty much anybody who's ever worked in a shop knows. I mean, you, you get your experience and your knowledge from working in a store. After failing the test before, both women took it again last month. If neither passes, the shop could be forced to close in about two weeks. They say the test is unfair. The hands-on section is judged by already licensed florists, their competition. And they say they're graded on styles that date back to the 1950s when the test began. And this is the book that they give us to study by. It is so outdated. The test was changed in 2009 to give the written section more weight. Since then, the pass rate has blossomed from 44 to 77 percent. But Chauvin and Massoni are suing to make the exam go away altogether. Their lawyer, Tim Keller, says it's one thing to license pilots and plumbers, but florists? The, the U.S. Constitution protects every individual's right to earn an honest living free from arbitrary government interference. And what could be more arbitrary than the government deciding who is and who is not qualified to sell and arrange flowers. The Louisiana State Florist Association says it's not arbitrary, it's good business. A stamp of approval for consumers, they say, is especially important since so many people never actually see the bouquets they order. There's a lot of non-licensed florists that are working in our shops today that, that are very good artisans, but they may not know that what's required to produce the best product. A rose is just a rose, but just who in Louisiana can sell them is now up to a court. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.